Well, hello and welcome back to the Norwegian mountains. I came up here yesterday. Now it's a beautiful morning as you see and it's quite chilly. It's a little bit below zero, actually minus 18. Now, during the night I did not charge my car and right now I have only 38 kilometers left. So the battery is very low and the temperature is very low. The battery is extremely cold so I cannot charge it right now. So let's take a look at how the cold will affect the battery and what it will do to it. So yeah, let's take a look. So as many of you know, the glass of the Tesla on the doors does not have a frame around it. It's stuck up in the whole body. So if you have a lot of ice, the glass might be stuck and you cannot open your doors. This might be a problem actually, but you can of course preheat your car and the snow will melt around the windows. So right now, it's actually stuck. I, I can't get it open. I have to yank it out, but it went. Ooh, the car is cold. The thing is right now, since the battery is below 75 kilometers, the car will not be able to preheat itself. Because of the low battery, it will not take all the risk of actually using so much power to heat up the car and the battery. So you cannot get the ice away from your windshield right now. You cannot defrost your car. It will be minus 10 inside it. But if you go inside of the car, of course, the heating will start. But from the app right now, it will not start at all. So you cannot preheat your vehicle. It takes about six uh, kilowatts to uh, maximum heat up the car. And it takes six kilowatts to heat up of the battery. So 12 kilowatt in all together. And since we have so little battery left now the car will not take any chance of using that to heat up your car because it will end up by having nothing zero and then you're really stuck another application that is on the phone for the tesla is the remote s and here it has way more information than the normal one and here you can actually see now it's minus 19 outside and it's minus 10.6 inside the vehicle. Woo, the night rider is freezing now. And as you can also see, it still use power or it's losing power. It's right now it says 0 0.114 kilowatt per hour. And also minus 1.3 ampere. And uh, yeah. The colder it is, the more energy leaks out of the battery. So one thing you will notice is that I only now have 37 kilometers left and half of the battery is blue almost. What that means is this part of the battery is not available now. Because the battery is so cold that you cannot rely on 37 kilometers left. Maybe just only 20. So, yeah, and you see it's about to change colors. Normally it gets from green to yellow at about around 75 kilometers left. And after about 20 it becomes red actually. So this blue doesn't mean anything bad. It just means that you don't have the ability to use that piece of the battery right now. So let's just uh, open uh, the charging port. By pressing the back button for hold it in there it goes it might be stuck sometimes it might freeze around this and if it does you have to use maybe your credit card or something to help it don't do don't use any metal and another trick also is to put 
a piece of tape here this thin that you that is transparent on this magnet and then it opens easier in the winter time so let's go and charge that battery what the heck the other way So up here I have this 400 volt 16 ampere 3 phase so that will give me approximately 11 kilowatt and 50 kilometers per hour so it it's okay. So in Europe I will use this Schuckel one and of course I can just take it off and we have the red one here so we just pop that in and we're ready to go. I also bought this external cable and it's okay to actually use it. So, all in all, we have power. Yes. So as you see now, <clears throat> the battery is now up to 40, but as you see, it doesn't say that it's charging at any speed. We have the power, we only have 5 ampad, uh, and the power actually now coming from the house, it's actually heating up the battery. Uh, but it also has given some juice to the battery. But first of all, it's heating up of the battery so it can receive way more power, because a cold battery will not receive so much. So we are charging now, and as you can see, we only use 5 ampad, not 16, because the battery is so cold, so we only use the power to heat up. But we also have gained now 12 kilometers. As you see here, there is this scheduled charging, and you can put it on if you know that your charging will only take 5 hours, and you put it on 8 hours before, you can of course put it to start three hours after you have plugged out the car. But if the battery is extremely cold, you have to think about that it might take one hour to heat up of the battery. So the charging will not be finished until six hours later instead of five. So you have to also have that in mind. Now, in the controls and in the settings you have this one, regenerative braking, and if that's on standard, of course, when you let go of the accelerator, the car will brake, so you don't need to use your brake all the time. When that happens, power is regenerated back to the battery, so you will sort of charge your car. But this will only happen if the battery is warm. If the battery is cold, it won't charge, and if it won't charge, the car will not brake, and then it, this thing doesn't work. So then you have to use your brakes. So keep that also in mind. So that's it. The car is charging up, the battery is heating up, and I will gain more power, and I have to stay in the beautiful mountains for some hours more. But who cares? It's a beautiful day. But I think I will go inside before I freeze my ass off. So that's it, folks.